Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to screen record on a Mac computer. There's lots of different ways and there have been tutorials and videos for all different kinds of ways, but today I'm going to share the top three best ways to screen record on a Mac computer. So number one is going to be the one that I'm currently using. I'm using ScreenFlow at the moment and I can actually pull up the interface after you get done recording. Most of these programs are going to be just basic screen recording and then once you get done they have their own interface for editing within themselves. So here's a video I did for DD Studios about the new YouTube update changes and I use ScreenFlow to record it. Uh, basically over here you can just edit the audio and uh, just properties of it and you can zoom and change just different things, lower the opacity, uh, you can add titles, you can do a lot within this uh, editor within the program. So that was ScreenFlow, which is what I use, which is a really good option. Another really good option is Camtasia, which they have come out with a new interface since I last saw it, and I have the trial version, and you can see right here that it's going off the built-in microphone, and this is just like any program. Uh, ScreenFlow does this the same. You can choose which audio. Now I'm using uh, a professional microphone through an Mbox, so I could have it go through that as well. Uh, and those are the levels and I could adjust according to that. You can also record off a built-in eyesight if you wanted to. And the great thing about Camtasia since I last saw their interface is now instead of just full screen like ScreenFlow does, and you can adjust that, but instead of just that preset and then zooming in later, Camtasia has some really awesome options right here. You can either just define your own region, uh, right now it's just set to like full screen for Mac, or you can actually set it to YouTube, web, iPhone, iPad, and then these are the two best that you're going to want to go between. This would mean at 720p on YouTube and then 1080 which is the maximum definition, uh, it's full HD 1080p. Uh, so I think that's really awesome that it just has that built in. Uh, if you are going to be recording the screen, you are most likely going to be doing 1080 because that's the entire pixels across the entire screen. So that's Camtasia. This is what Camtasia looks like. Now I'm just going to record a small section. I just have the trial version of Camtasia, whereas I have the full version of uh, ScreenFlow. So I'm going to stop this recording, which, if it's like ScreenFlow, will bring up its own interface, and it does. And they offer you help to get started. And what's really nice is they have the waveforms right here for the audio. And then they also have audio effects, uh, cursor effects, video effects. Uh, just you can mask out different regions. So if you only wanted like certain reason, regions of the video, you could do that. Uh, lots of different kinds of cool effects. I don't know if I would really use them for a tutorial, but uh, you can if you want. So I thought that's really cool about Camtasia. I would recommend Camtasia first because of all the options, and then I would go second to ScreenFlow, and then our third today is going to be QuickTime Player. Now, the new QuickTime Player for a while, um, let's see what version it is. Starting at version 10, you can actually do screen recording. So if you go to File, New Screen Recording, or there's a shortcut for it, uh, again, it has the audio right here, and you can choose which you want to uh, record, medium or high quality. Uh, you can show mouse clicks in recording, which I think would just have like a circle around it. And then it's going through my Mbox, which is my microphone, or you could do just the input microphone of the computer, of the iMac, uh, so or whatever else microphones you have. So yes, with QuickTime Player, uh, you can choose the microphone, and you can actually choose to record yourself as well with movie recording, which will pull up the uh, webcam. How you doing, everyone? <laughs> Uh, so basically that's it for QuickTime Player. What I've noticed when recording with this as opposed to ScreenFlow and Camtasia is that QuickTime Player is a bit jumpy. Um, it's just not the best quality. I mean that could be because it's free. I'm trying to remember from the last thing I remember it's like the pro version of QuickTime Player which was like 20 bucks. It's either that or it's free so it's really not that much. Um, so let's look at the prices of all of these. So like I said, um, QuickTime Player is probably, I think it's 
it's free for the Mac and you might need to pay like $20 if you're on Windows or whatever. Basically it's a lowest costing. So then we're going to go to Camtasia where I actually just finished uh, downloading the trial. And basically it's made by TechSmith and when you go to buy now you'll see it's $99. If you want to get the actual box version it's like $7 for shipping. Uh, but it's $100, okay? And ScreenFlow is actually the exact same. So it really just comes down to preference. ScreenFlow 4 is $99. So it's really just, it comes down to preference, to tell you the truth. I have the full version of ScreenFlow, which means that I can export without a watermark on the screen. I assume Camtasia would be the same way. From seeing Camtasia's new interface and how easy it would be, you can create annotations on the screen, you can do all this, just random text. They made it very user friendly for maybe people who aren't used to making videos. And I actually really like it because if I wanted to knock out a tutorial really quick, I could. As opposed with ScreenFlow, sometimes it messes up on exporting. Uh, it's just not as nice, it's not as clean. So to wrap this video up guys, I would go to Camtasia first if you want a screen recorder for $100. And if you don't like Camtasia, had bad experiences, or you want to just try it, then I would go to ScreenFlow, which is still a really good option. And then if you don't want to pay any money, but you still want to start doing tutorials on your computer, I would just start off with QuickTime Pro until you maybe get a following or more subscribers, or maybe until you have the money to buy the other programs. So that for that, I would go to QuickTime Player if you don't want to pay any money, or if you don't have any money to spend on it and you just want to try it out. Uh, so basically, that's it, guys. That's how you screen record on a Mac. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to DD Studios. That's basically it. Hope you enjoyed the flamingos on the screen, and have a great day.